<laughs> You'll remember these words dearly, won't you? In the year 2158 of the Amber Era, the first year of the new epoch, the universe resumed its intended trajectory. The kindling of conspiracy smoldered in Panacone, the land of the dreams. Failing to erupt into a blaze, it instead flickered briefly on Klopoth's anvil before vanishing in the blink of an eye. The dead and those fated to die remain in their eternal slumber, while the living find solace in deep sleep. All clamored in a cacophony of silence and then went about their own ways. The cosmos emanated a vitality characteristic of a new era all for the modest price of a brother and sister's mild grief. Babies are born as stars extinguish. The silver rail unfolds. The story of the Astral Express comes to a close, yet it also embarks anew. Time marches forward heralding the arrival of a new chapter in the history of trailblazing expeditions. Countless shooting stars streak the sky tonight. If you can pick the right one, it will carry your wish to thousands of distant worlds. You're feeling very relaxed now, aren't you? So, then, it's time to tell you a little bedtime story. Well, let's start with a conclusion. The crew was defeated in the battle against Sunday. Everyone in Panacone failed, and no one survived. But don't panic. The truth, as horrifying as it may be, is not yet irreversible. There's still a glimmer of hope, and that's why I'm here. Next, I'll use this empty light comb that carries all your memories to relive everything that happened before. And when this story reaches its end, I'm sure someone as clever as you will notice that. There's a major flaw in the story you have experienced. Yet, within that flaw lies a glimmer of hope. Are you ready for it? Do you remember everything? When the clock turned back, the Express started a warp jump, sending you to a strange dream. You were bewildered back then. And then a galaxy ranger named Acheron showed you a way out. When you arrived at the Reverie Hotel, you met the doorman Misha and had a confrontation with a Venturine, an IPC representative. Thankfully, Acheron appeared again and helped you. After that, you saved Firefly and explored Panacone together. 
During the tour, you ran into Sparkle disguised as Sampo and accidentally entered a child's dream. There, I rescued both of you from death, but Firefly didn't return to reality. She realized the truth and tried to involve you in her plan, but that resulted in an accidental death. Even more unsettling, you soon encountered another murder. The two cases of death prompted you to investigate the truth behind the sweet dream. Despite your efforts to gather information about the two victims, you didn't make much progress. But you did learn about the Watchmaker from Gallagher. Meanwhile, Aventurine was secretly carrying out his scheme, in which you were one of the pawns. In the midst of a fierce battle, Acheron revealed her true identity as an emanator of the Nihility, and unsheathed her sword. That strike foiled Aventurine's plan, and opened a passage between the Sweet Dream and the original Memory Zone. Upon your arrival at Dreamflux Reef, you learned the truth that death was actually dormancy. As well as the truth about the Dreamscape, the Stellaron, and the bellboy, Misha. You split up with Sunday and Robin, looking for a way to seal the Stellaron. However, it turned out that Sunday and the Dream Master had their own hidden agenda. And you had to engage in an ultimate duel on the stage of the Charmony Festival. Finally, the story reached its conclusion. You emerged victorious, with the Trailblaze triumphing over the Order and Penacone embracing a bright and peaceful future. This marks the end of the thrilling journey in Penacone. I'm sure you've already noticed something unusual, haven't you? The major flaw, which contradicts all the known information, hides in this story. Little Misha, or should I call him the Watchmaker? He's only a segment of memory in a dream bubble, but his ambition for the Trailblaze led him to leave the bubble and embark on a grand adventure in Penacone. Well, Misha is a rather special memory zone meme, and he was granted power by the Trailblaze. There's still one thing that he shouldn't be able to do. A life born in the memory zone could never manifest in reality. So, why did he appear in the Reverie Hotel in reality? The answer is simple. He is the one fatal variable that contradicts all our known information. This means that you, who wholeheartedly believe in this memory, are still trapped in the dreamscape at this very moment. Wake up, sleepyhead. Break free from this eternal dream and return to the real world. We'll find our answers there. <laughs>